Today we will talk about how to apply Teflon tape, mistakes that beginners make, and in the end I will show you the trick to make your wraps look professional. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Look at this clean wrap. But you will see as I start threading fitting on the nipple, Teflon tape will start to unroll and it will pull some of it off, making it ineffective. This happens when it's applied counterclockwise. The correct direction to apply Teflon is clockwise. In other words, wrap it in the same direction that a fitting threads in. This is critical as a seal of the threads will depend on that. To do it right, hold the roll with your index and middle finger of your preferred hand and hold the nipple with the other hand. Place the tape on threads with your thumb and hold the tip of the tape there with your index finger and start to roll. Overlap the tape with first roll and move away the index finger. Make sure that tape is pulled tight so that it goes deep in the threads. I normally do 3 to 4 turns. Once it's done, snap it off. Another mistake beginners make is that they apply Teflon tape beyond threads. That will cause problems, such as flow restrictions. It can also end up in other components downstream, such as in orifices or aerators. If this mistake is made on plastic threads, it will also increase the chance of cross-threading and make expensive fittings useless. So leave the first thread at end of the pipe exposed. When you apply Teflon tape to finished materials, such as shower arms, only apply Teflon tape to first few threads to keep a clean look. A good trick is to fold the tape and do a couple of turns. Some people crease their nails into the threads to ensure Teflon is deep in the threads. In my opinion, that's not necessary if you wrap the tape tight. Now let me show you how to achieve professional looking finish on your threads. Wrap the Teflon tape as you normally would, but don't break it once you are done with your desired turns. Wrap one turn on the nipple instead. Now tight the fitting. Once it's done, start to unroll and remove all the extra tape. That's all for today's video. Make sure to like the video and subscribe to our channel. See you next time.